Mm. Mm. I've been going through it for the last two days. Not had nothing to do with me and Stephanie. And uh, it feels good when you have a good woman. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up y'all, it's Tasha and I'm back with another video. Um, before I get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it. Um, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am doing a seafood boil with a crab leg and I promise I'm gonna eat it this time, y'all. Scallops, sausage, bell pepper, cucumber, and salmon fried brown rice. And I got two times spicy sauce. So. Let's get into the video. All right, fake back, fake back, fake back again. You guys, when I ask you guys to please like the video, it's because it does help us. I want to let you know that. And when you subscribe, I guess it just, it keeps you notified. Um, but liking the video and leaving us comments helps the channel. So if you want to help the channel, thank you. If you want to keep seeing us do giveaways like we do. Yeah, whatever, that. All right, so I have two times spicy sauce. You guys might not be able to see it too well um, when I pour it on the brown rice. I didn't go to the same place I went to last time that has white fried rice, so I just got brown. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this one time spicy. I know I call it two, but it's one. I do not have my sauce today because I like to enjoy, um, mm. I like to enjoy cream crab with just plain butter, no butter and lemon. And the scallops, I like two times spicy sauce on them. Barely have any left. I'm just gonna start with a scallop. Mm hmm delicious. I've actually never had brown, brown rice before y'all. It does taste a little different, but it's still good. Put this in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. This is a very refreshing meal. I don't have any more. I'm gonna have to resort to two times, which I do not want to you guys because it's so hot. Today I do have two topics. I'm gonna get to the first one first and the second one second. Hopefully I can get to the second one, you guys. I'm only gonna put a little bit of two times because I'll be doing too much with this two times spicy. It's really hot. Um, meanwhile, I'm gonna eat a little bit. We might go live tonight. Um, mm -mm -mm. Good. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm sorry about the glasses. Oh, yeah, I gotta eat. Wait, I'll tell you in a minute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I'm wearing the glasses because I had a very long night and I feel like my eyes are kind of swollen. So, I'm trying to hide that with the glasses, basically. Let me see if I can get the. See, this is the claw, y'all. Unless you are a professional, it's not that easy to get in. All right, y'all. <laughs> I just took about two minutes to get this little bit of meat out. For real. Can you close that window? I think I was saying something to y'all before I went away and I don't remember. Sorry if I was. 
It was really good. Really good. Mm. I like king crab with just butter. Even though I keep making the butter sauce that I make, it is so much better like this. So much better. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. You can really taste the meat. Mm. You know, I just want to say something. This is just random. It's so much easier to give advice to somebody you care about. Give advice to people than it is to sometimes take your own advice. Or not take your own advice, but it's easier to give advice than to do things you know you should be doing, you know? Or things you shouldn't let bother you. So when I give y'all advice on everything, oh, Tasha's perfect. She knows how to handle everything and mm, mm I just know that if I was in that situation, I would want somebody to tell me the same thing or I would want to be doing whatever advice I'm giving you. I want to take these off, but I look toe up, y'all. But it's all good. I don't really like glasses on my face. I'm ready for the topic, babe. And the topic is ready for you. Well, I hope you hear the topic. Hi. Good. So. Thank you, baby. I just want to say something else. I've been going through it for the last two days. Not had nothing to do with me and Stephanie. And uh, it feels good when you have a good woman. Because you can have a person that's a woman, but not necessarily a good woman. Um, it feels good to have one because um, as strong as I am, and I'm not tooting my own horn, I, I'm a very strong person. I hold it down. But when I need, now so is Stephanie. I don't feel weak. I ain't gonna lie, I might feel weak. When I try to let, you know, I'll, you know, I might feel a little bit weak. I don't know, but Stephanie just, she comforts me. I don't know if anybody can do that. I feel comforted with her. Um, sometimes like a baby, you know, if I'm feeling that bad. Um, I, she never, I don't tell her, but Stephanie feels my energy. And I don't have to say anything to her. And I just think that that is something that's important in a marriage. And I appreciate her for helping me through hard times. I appreciate her a lot. Stephanie does not judge me for feeling sad or feeling any kind of way. Doesn't make me feel like a punk. She just supports me and I appreciate that. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> you like the rest? I like the right ones I said. I didn't put too much spicy on it. It's not bad. So I met this dude last October. We were talking for a couple of months and then I popped up pregnant. And I love how she said pop up. Right. Like right. she was accident. <laughs> she was like, feel me. When you pop up out of the TV? And just popped up. Boom. Okay. Pregnant. <laughs> okay. Babies are always a blessing, so <laughs> pop over the weasel, because the weasel say like, pop. Okay. I was still in high school my senior year, got pregnant my second semester. Mm -hmm. I really loved this dude. But one day I found, one day I got this text message from this girl I didn't even know. Here we go. Mm -hmm. She told me that my baby dad got her pregnant also. Wow. Okay. I was so devastated. I cried and cried and cried. My baby's father kept saying, I didn't get her pregnant. I didn't get her pregnant. So. Mm -hmm. I got over that and we continued to, to do us. 
we're not in a relationship he tells me all the time he's not ready for a relationship because of his previous relationship with this girl i've been waiting for him for a year and three months to finally say we are official he always tells me it's coming one day <laughs> yeah you just answer the question for yourself right there you've been waiting for him to do what to commit to her you've been waiting for him to commit okay go ahead remember that for a year and three months you've been waiting on him some raggedy ass and i ain't saying he raggedy but but let's let's continue okay i'm not rushing him or anything but i'm get i'm starting to get to the point where i don't want this anymore good don't ever since i found out he had a baby on the way i started to grow some type of feelings toward him mm -hmm. i love him and i always and he always asked me why i don't act like i used to when we first met because when we first met you wasn't getting girls pregnant and <laughs> exactly. not wanting to quit <laughs> exactly this has gotten really really toxic the verbal abuse is really bad he always calls me a bitch a fat bitch and a broke bitch wow but he forgot when i when he first got out of jail oh lord I was all he had. Literally gave him money every time he asked. I bought a bed and stuff for him so he can have somewhere to lay down and cell phone and everything. Okay. My stress level was. You took care of him. You helped him get on his feet basically when he got out of jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And okay. my stress level was so high to the point I had my baby at 28 weeks, not knowing that I was stressing Ooh. that bad. My baby stayed in the NICU for two and a half. Um, she months like, probably, probably Went months. Through five brain, five brain surgeries. Oh my god! Her dad came to visit her three times out of her hospital stay. On his way, so his third baby mom had the baby, and he didn't even show no type of attention. He always posts pictures of the third baby and don't even post mine anymore. Okay. But he was selling out to me about how the baby wasn't his. And how he wanted to continue what we were doing, and then I love him, and I and wait, and I want to let this sentence complete this. Sentence. You didn't complete the sentence, but okay. You basically want to know what you should do. He already told you what you should do. He said he didn't want to be in a relationship with you. He doesn't post your baby anymore. He didn't come see her in the hospital when she could have passed. He didn't show any emotion towards your baby. He probably only saw her three times because he didn't want to have drama with you and wanted to keep sleeping with you. If that's the case, if that's what you guys are doing. Um, he doesn't care about you or your baby. He didn't, he didn't form a bond with her. Um, he ain't trying to. He's posting another baby, but not his. He should be posting all his kids. He's feeling some kind of way more about one baby than another. Uh, another. So her baby and the other baby that came when she was a senior, I'm assuming it was the first two babies. Mm -hmm. And then y'all have not really been together, but have, and he's saying he wants to one day. And then he came with a third baby mama. Yeah, he had a third baby. What about, I mean, you already started feeling feelings when you found out about the first baby mama. Mm -hmm. You are continuing to feel something every time he does something. Every time you know that he does not want to commit to you, when you think about what you've done for him when he got out of jail, all that stuff is building up and making you not want to deal with this. You even said you want to be done with it. Right. She you just need, answer. Be done. She just needs to stop loving him. If you, I think your real question is how do I get over him? How do I let him go? Because mm -hmm. I think you're ready. And I think you need to think about all the things he's doing to you that you don't deserve from verbally abusing you he he basically disrespects you when he talks to you calling you fat bees uh broke whatever how you gonna call me broke when i paid for your entire existence right when you got out of jail first of all you paid for you probably helped him get on his feet thinking that y'all was probably gonna be together you know what i'm saying and that didn't happen yeah he basically used you for to um be able to have a place to sleep and all that and then basically ended up with another girl getting her pregnant. He really don't have, probably doesn't have a lot of respect for women at all. He's just like using them for whatever he wants for that moment. That's not the man you need to be with. You probably, I think a lot of women 
when once they have a baby by somebody, it's like they be on a mission to like be with that person. Mm -hmm. I want a family, which I understand. I never wanted to have a baby without a family, but you gotta let that go because he don't want that, you know. And all you are doing is making yourself miserable by staying with him and allowing allowing him to treat you the way he is. Yeah, and um, first of all, y'all not together. No, he's obviously living somewhere else with someone else. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you're still loving him. I'm, I'm assuming you're still sleeping with him since you are saying you still love him. Um, he does not care about you. I don't care what he says to you. He does not care about you. He is using you for sex. He doesn't care about the child because if he did he as far as posting i don't know about posting this and posting that i feel like he's probably more into that third girl right now yeah you know you, so. you're exactly right i hear that from a lot well i've heard that from males that you know or what i assume i actually only heard it from one male but i'm assuming that they all do this they usually it seems like they do just whoever they're with at the time that's whose kid they pay more attention to even if it's not their own children all right so yeah you like mm -hmm. it so anyway, leave. Not so, leave. Let your feelings for him go so you can move on. Yeah. That's it. Please, if anybody has been in the same situation, leave some comments down below and let her know what it is um, and what she should do. Um, I'm done here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Stephanie's going to keep eating that rice. Excuse me. Um, oh, we got a vlog channel, Stuff and Tasha Vlogs. Link is in the description below. I meant to say that at the beginning, but oh well. And oh, set your notifications to all so we'll be reminded. So you'll be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, and premieres. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.